and uh, it has a storage repository with 10,000 flux coils in it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Star Salvage. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and we're still on Vex Ornell. Um, I'm actually in the Polaris base here. Um, I had recorded um, a little bit showing you. I found this mysterious structure, which is very much like the old um, alien outpost or whatever it was that you used to find. Slightly different, had an indestructible core, so I'm wondering if we'll be seeing this later. But unfortunately, the recording for that has got corrupted. I also made my way back across here and um, at this CPU, discarded CPU extender, got myself into a bit of a death loop with some um, nice little friendly Xurax uh, lasers, which cost me quite a few deaths. Um, but unfortunately that got lost due to um, a crash which is strange. I started getting the same crash I was or a similar crash to what I was getting at the end of the previous let's play so I'm a little bit concerned by that for the update. Um, you will also see here we have a old version of the Phytotron which I found and repaired and stuck the hover vessel on top of. This is how I intend to get a bunch of my ill-gotten gains out of or off this planet. So my plan is to take this one and just, and it says do not en enter, I think it'll let me in and then hopefully I can just squeeze this little puppy inside and I'm gonna park it here and hopefully the Polaris won't mind because if I do come back to the planet I might want it I figure so I figure it might be useful to have and the Phytotron has on board um, everything I need it's got some Zascosium which I picked up um, some raw pentaxid a few bits like that a few bits of fuel uh, T2 extender it's got another T2 extender there um, and some more goodies and oh look there's some engineering components there that should be in the fridge let's get those in the fridge before they go off um and that and also we picked up a large optronic bridge and i don't know what happened to the matrix no they wouldn't have had matrices it was a t3 i did get some promethium ore but just three um I haven't found any others. I picked up, like say, a few more um, crystals, but that's all I've managed to find at the moment. My hope is that I should be able to get off planet um, by flying this one off planet, docking with my vessel in orbit. This I will probably shut down and leave at the quarantine station. Um, I have no real use for it. It's only running on my claim core um, and it was a bit of a unique fixer upper opportunity at the time it just happened to seem like a good way to get my ill-gotten gains off world so let's um get back up to the main ship okay and here we are approaching and it comes to mind that one of the things i haven't remembered about this phytotron is it doesn't come with much in the way of braking thrust so we're gonna kind of have to just wing it there. There we go. Beautiful. Um, perfect bit of landing. What could possibly go wrong? Let's uh, just park it over here. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll park this one up. Interestingly, something that came up as I took the ship out of orbit was you can't enter this planet with an SV please back away please you know exit the area um so that was quite interesting to me at least because I thought I am I'm leaving I'm not arriving 
So we'll have to bear that in mind that I can't take this SV back down. I'd have to find another one and bring another one up. I have a funny feeling what I needed was confetti moss scrapings, not um, fire moss, which I was finding quite a lot of fire moss, but not confetti moss scrapings. But I need promethium pellets to make them. Um, I'm going to... I didn't find anyone selling them on the quarantine station. I think I will double check and see if I can buy some, if there are any, before I leave. Because that is the answer to a quest right there. Um, we will go to the salvage blocks and offload all our other stuff from this small vessel. Um, anything that is a salvage block, we will put in a salvage blocks, 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 blocks. Um, not that one, of course, because that is not a salvage block. That is. This one we got as a reward. I don't think that's a special one, so won't worry about it. And most of the other stuff can go in inventory. So I'll sort this out and I'll just have a see if we can get some Promethean pellets. Okay, so I'm back on board my ship. The first thing I'm going to do is actually repair this armor as it kind of got knackered during when I got got myself absolutely marmalized. I've just realized I've got no um, <laughs> grav gen on this ship so I'm just floating without the armor because I don't have a jetpack. Um, so I want to put my other medium armor back on because the medium scout armor I think um, back on because if I remember rightly this environmental armor is not particularly strong and boy did that show during the fight um, it was absolutely awful I was getting absolutely hammered by the lasers and I think the new AI in 1.9 is um actually significantly sort of quicker so the 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 Xerax were running around a lot more and giving me a lot more to worry about um, so I was having a bit of difficulty with them so I also did manage to pick up some Promethean pellets so first things first let's uh, link ourselves into this and just quickly grab the garden goodies Almost looks a little bit juddery. I'm feeling like I'm not getting the frame rate I should be getting. Is this still growing? No, yep. We'll grab that. There we go. That's everything, I think, apart from Yusa. There you go. Well, now have a look at what we can make here. Because what I want to be able to make is some confetti moss scrapings because I believe before we head out to the next quest there's a bit we can do on the quests here. So this was rank 7 of exploration. On engineering rank 6 we needed the auto miners which we can do. So if we activate this mission a second we'll get the same text we've had a bunch of times we need to craft craft five auto miners we already have one here i'm gonna go just t2s i can always upgrade them later but we have a bunch of zask now ready to go and we have a bunch of auto miner cores ready to go so we should be able to say yes please i will have um where are you where are you he says I would like so I'm gonna want five of these hopefully that won't kill too much of my Zaskosium supply and how much power cores do I have Ooh, it's gonna be expensive okay one two three four five we'll see how many we can do So I'll just have to hold on while that crafts because I can't actually switch quest, I believe. So do bear with me 
for just a moment. And okay, now it says, now that you have plenty of auto miners, place them on resource deposits to start gathering resources. Yes, we know about that. I'm just topping up the fuel supply there. I did switch it to make me two standard ones as we got four T2s and probably have done with less than that, but there you go. Um, I'm going to make a few more refined pentaxid as well while I'm at it, just to make sure I have some. I could definitely do with more of that. Um, I'm going to need to find some pentaxid crystals and some zascosium because then I can grow some. Now, this is the next thing. We have plenty of mushrooms, I think. Eight. How many mushrooms do we need? We need one each, and I think we need a total of ten confetti moss scrapings, so we should be okay. We have all the bits we need, so let's have a look at that quest. So, auto miners done. This was, I believe, the advanced training was th was this one. So this is medical plants, craft the supplies, 10 antibiotic ointment. So this is the one we need to continue here. So we'll resume this mission. Yep. And we've done 30 bandages. So we need antitoxic ointment, which I think is pretty. That's the one we need. Antibiotic ointment is just herbal leaves, which we've got, I think, plenty of. Yep, herbal leaves and the plant protein. So we should have plenty of that. So you can make 10 of those. And hopefully now we can make 10 of these. So again, hopefully this will just chug, chug, chug all the way through. And I will speed up time while I have a snack. Okay, speeding up time there was far too slow. Um, so I just went and dropped it out. So we're just on the last one now. Hopefully this will be building any second and we will complete the craft medical supplies. He says, he says, he says, he says. It's going to complete, right? Right, it's going to complete. Come on. Complete now, please. Now, now, please. And. Da -da -da. Congratulations, you've completed the medical gardening portion of the advanced training options. As a reward, you have been given advanced medicines to help you. Emergency rations are an extremely valuable resource as they provide a large amount of food and do not spoil. Being able to craft these will prove that you have what it takes to survive in the galaxy. Craft emergency medical rations times five. Um, I guess better than energy bars. Yes, they are. I should have hopefully what I need to make five of those just kicking around. So we'll stick five of those on the go and hope that that gets going. In the meantime, as that's going to take a little bit of time, in the meantime, I noticed I have a grav gen in storage and it's driving me insane falling around this place. So I am going to install a grav gen just temporarily somewhere. Um, somewhere being I don't know, down here, in this dark corner I haven't done anything with yet. So where is salvage blocks? Ue la grave gen. I saw it here somewhere. I'm sure I saw it here somewhere. Was it in the input storage just floating around as a grave gen? No. Was it in Pentaxi? No. It wasn't in salvage block 2, it wasn't in the ammo repository, it wasn't in the closet. I know I have it. I have somewhere. There we go. 
a grav gen. So let's uh, bond to this one very quickly. And I am just going to slap that grav gen right there. Because while floating around a ship is hugely helpful, it also helps just to be able to walk around a ship. Now, I am assuming that this emergency ration crafting will keep going in the background. Because the other thing was we needed to go to the black hole. So we needed to leave the system, um, which was going to take us to somewhere called uh, Ver Verton. Verton? I think it was Verton. It was a black hole. It was Verton. And it was only about 23 light years away was what it said. So let's see if, okay, map information, symbols, markers, thank you for the now an search. Is the search thing any better? Burton, black hole sun. Okay, show on map. Um, can we lock target to it? Nope, that was not. Burton, I want to lock target to that one, yes. Okay, so we want to lock target to there. I don't want to go jumping in because the quest may progress without me. Um, so I don't want to go jumping in without um, having completed that quest and having that quest lined up. So again, I will probably just cut out a chunk. Well, it seems that I just don't have enough meat to make the rest of the emergency rations I thought I did have but obviously not so with that we're going to move straight back on ghost ships hmm a lot of money for ghost ship hunting the last few years sightings of ghost ships have been increasing these ghost vessels are racks of capital vessels that have continued to fly on their own despite crippling damage that should render them inoperable that looks to be new. I am intrigued. However, let's um, let's continue with the quest we were on for exploration. So let's go with that one. Yes, we need to head to Veriton. Right. So let's head off to Veriton and finally once and for all leaving the starter system whatever next eh and we can make the jump straight away wow that's actually cool I think they've I don't know if that's know it all or if that's someone else having updated the black hole view but that's cool very um interstellar so, now where? Find the cursed planet. It doesn't... Uh, oh, there is... Oh, this is it. The, so, the Jewel of Verton. So, we'll lock target and we'll jump over to Jewel of Verton. I'm guessing there's nothing particularly exciting here. Let's hope we're not going to get blown up at the Jewel of Verton. I can't even aim at the thing. There we go. There we go. And it seems like, you know, we're talking interstellar levels of giant waves here and things like that. You know, we're going to get absolutely marmalized. So, teensy bit nervous. All right. Find the cursed planet. Okay. This is the cursed planet. Okay, there is a lot of red things. These are ghost ships again. I am intrigued by these. And there is what looks like some wreckages there, which I really want to check out too, because these will be the first wreckages I'm checking out out of system. So that will be quite interesting. 
So let's head down into the planet. You cannot enter this planet in a CV. Okay. So no CVs allowed again. Um, I don't know if there is any quarantine thing or anything like that. These are all green markers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So we're going to stop. I think. And I'm going to try going down in an SV. Let's make sure I've got a couple of ration packs on board as well. Food wise, hopefully if anything goes too pear shaped. Ooh, hello. It's chilly out there. Um, if anything goes too pear shaped, we can back out. Um, that one does that. That one doesn't have a shield, does it? Whereas the other one does have a shield, but less guns. Um, choices, choices. I'm tempted to take the one with the shield. Let's take the ship with the shield. Less guns. Well, still has big guns, but all in all, less weaponry. I could slap a gap on there and there in time to come. But less guns, more shields. So what was I going to grab? I am keep thinking I'm trying to grab something. Can't remember what it is. And then constantly forget. Which was going to be food. Let's eat that. I know that's a little bit of a waste. But we'll be fine. Alright. How much power you got? Enough. You haven't got any railgun ammo. That's fine. You've got plenty of dubri ammo. And I don't really want to give pentaxes. You don't have a constructor, do you? I don't. No, I think it does have a constructor. Anyway, let's back off and see if we can go down in an SV. I'm assuming we can. It looks like we can. Like we can. Oh. Then for dust money, I'm detecting an unusual energy coming from the ziggurat. The energy seems to be alive. I suggest you find the ziggurat so we might better understand what, what it is and stop this spinning. How can the energy be alive? In the same way it makes my ship do donuts. Okay. Where is the ziggurat? Holy crap, this planet is huge. This planet is vast. There are apparently no deposits. There's green things. How the hell am I going to find this ziggurat? It's enormous. Um, oh, for a quest marker. Oh, what the hell is this? Abandoned bunker. Wow, that's not the abandoned bunker I remember. Um, I thought this thing had a shield. Does this thing not have a shield? I clearly have not made a shield for this. Um, stupid question. Has that got weapons? It looks like it might have weapons. I mean, it's... It's enormous. It's also enormously tempting. Oh, hello. It's not big weapons. It's fairly little weapons. But weapons. I might come back for that. We're going 
in the meantime, I'm just going to sort of check out some of the area and see if I can find anything particularly exciting. Um, question is... I'm an idiot. You know what I left on the other planet, on the other ship. My claim core, again. Like a fool, like a fool, I tell you. Okay, so I might be going back up as um, this does not have a constructor. I might be switching ship um, to see if I can get a constructor going and all that kind of stuff because I'm going to need a claim core um, and I don't have one of those at the moment for some unbeknown reason couldn't possibly explain why um, but first thing I'm going to do is check out this junk storage and just see if there's anything in here which can get me going without it oh that's bright. Okay. What have we got in here? A gigantic thruster. Oh, wrong way around. Um, oh, we got repair tool, salvage tool. Yeah. I mean, all of this stuff really needs to be going into the scout rather than into my inventory like so better uh, salvage tool not really interested in salvage tool and I think I'm probably going to salvage that rather than um, take it at the moment I think if I get an XL I might put it in that area that's what I was thinking about doing there um, but I'm figuring I could just grab this and um, no, I uh, salvage, yeah. And that's going to get me quite a few goodies to get started. I mean, it's not going to do me without um, a constructor, but this thing is set up to be expanded upon. So I could do things like that. I mean, if I was going to come down now, I'd need to spawn probably a little respawn pod because otherwise I have to come back to life near it and you never know quite what's going to happen. So I'm going to continue exploring around here for the minute. If I find something exciting other than junk storages, um, then I will let you know, but I'm going to use what I've got to make up a claim course so I can claim any good stuff. So, of course, it's dawned on me that this planet is liable never to see sunlight, being that it's surrounded by a black hole, of course. Um, and I have come across some interesting salvage, which has made me realize I must sort out my claim core. Which we're about to do. Um, because in here is a rebuilt shield generator, which I'm assuming I might be able to attach to this vessel. Because if I remember rightly, I did leave space inside for such a thing. Um, I would have to sort of pop a few holes in there to figure it out, but there's plenty of space. So I'd just be able to take like that one. See, and I knew I left some space in there for extra fuel tanks, hopefully a, a shield generator. And I'm not sure if I put in a pentaxid tank already. Um, not sure if I did there. Put in a pentaxid tank. I had the advanced thruster. I have not put in a pentaxid tank looking at that. So I'd have to squeeze in a pentaxid tank, which would probably go up there in that gap. And then we could put the shield generator in here. And this would give us plenty of room 
for the shield generator. Assuming this is a small ship shield generator. Are you not finished yet? I can't get used to this new button being a, a Wi-Fi symbol as well. I don't know why. I just can't get used to it. I'm struggling. I'm, uh, I'm used to the lock. Uh, stone will keep for the time being. Sometimes comes in handy. Needed it for a couple of tiny little bits. But let's... Uh, uh, can you please disconnect? No? Maybe? Yes? Maybe? No? See, that's, that's annoying. I can't... And it, it wasn't going to... It didn't want to unlock it there for a second. Which was somewhat annoying. Um, but now it does. So we're fine. Okay. Yep. Claim core. Good point. Okay. Claim core. Put claim core here. Yes, this planet is going to be dark. For us the whole time. Um, so I will, while I will scoot around this planet, I will try and minimize the amount of flying around you guys have to put up with. Um, because I don't know else how we're going to deal with it. So we will retrieve uh, this shield generator and we'll check out what type of re rebuilt shield generator it is. It is for a placeable base. MS. So some people have indicated to me that that can go on a CV, um, but I'm guessing cannot go on a small ship, which is a little bit upsetting. But nevertheless, it is what it is. So we will replace those couple of blocks, but we are safe in the knowledge that we now have a claim core. Which I don't want to do that with. So I will be... Oh, you see, this is what's going to get me. Because you, I need to do this thing where I do the P and put the V and put the... Just an X will be fine. Because that means it's an X storage thing. So that in future, when I see it, it's not a thing. What I could probably do of course is I think there is a possibility here under exploration there is a hover vessel detector small detector capital there's the deep space radar that's um, a long range SV detector but this is 500 whacking great points and at the moment I still have not got I've got 900 so I can I can I can buy something big, but I can only buy one thing big. And at the moment, I'm not yet prepared for it to be that. So I am going to keep flying around here and see what else we can find. Um, just checking how fully loaded I am. I might end up doing a few runs back to the ship. Okay, well, this is new. <laughs> okay, well this is new. I came across this junk storage and I went to shoot the door and it said I cannot change it. And uh, it has a storage repository with 10,000 flux coils in it. I can't carry 10,000 flux coils. So... Oh my lord. And this is right next to an abandoned something or other. Just over here. An abandoned fuel depot. But 10,000 flux goes. That's going to take me a few flights back and forth. Check out my lift. Um. <laughs> I am taking those flux coils. I don't care. But there's abandoned fuel storage here. Which could also be very lucrative. Um, so this planet is looking hugely lucrative at the moment. I am literally going to go and ferry back and forth a ludicrous number of flux coils. 
and then I'll bring you back and we'll have a look at this fuel storage. So, okay. Seem to be having some issues getting my recording to start. I've just, as I just said a moment ago, but seem to be repeating now. Um, I went up, excuse the lovely sounds in the background. I went up to the ship and came back down again. So I went up here and when I came back down again, I'm here because of the way the planet rotates. Um, and I've sort of been meandering my way along, finding abandoned vessels and all sorts. I mean, if you look at the loot I have inside my ship, I have um, so much here, like Pentaxid, find Pentaxid, Pentaxid, the junk storages just have loads of stuff. Um, it's absolutely insane. And I happen to come across this POI here, which is... Um, an abandoned storage facility, I believe. And I just started by attacking these horrible freaking spiders, which suck. And I think there's a lot more bad stuff down there. But I'm going to look through this way and try and survive this. Um, I have no nearby respawn. That's not particularly useful. I see they've changed the model on these as well. Um, oh. That's more useful. That's definitely useful apart from that. Um, that and that are useful. But again, look, there's just so much here. So much on this planet. And everything on this planet seems to be infested legacy-wise. Um, like I say, I've been having a wander around um, there are cannons on this. I've parked on the side where the cannons are not going to shoot me. But I'm hoping that I can take the cannons if I can call the this facility. Which is one of the reasons I came up to it after it. There's one of these cannons here. Which is probably going to try and shoot my brains out in any second now. Because there's another one right there. Um, we'll get down here. So I want to try and take those guns off this off this building, which was why I went for the attack on this particular building. Uh, hello. What do we have? I mean, these I'm just going to leave. That's worth having. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to dump half of this. It's just it's just weight and space. I. I don't need um, that I will have oh again clicking the wrong button since they changed it a lot um, let's also just quickly put some stuff in the fridge here and where was that spider meat yep yeah, there we go and we are gonna oh hello Hilarisa. Actually, I should probably have been using this one for you as this is pretty devastating as well. What the hell? What is... What was trying to hit me through the wall? Where? Whoa! Whoa! Cheeky nurse! Ow! Whoa! That's not cool. Um, yeah. Bandage? Can a bandage fix that? Yes. And, um... Ow! I didn't see quite the state of my health. Oh my god, I'm going to be plowing through the meds here. I can see. Have we got... We've got some additional meds here somewhere, haven't we? In the fridge? In the fridge? In the fridge? In the fridge? No, we haven't. Excellent. Good to know. Um, excellent. Excellent news. Wonderful. Um, this is going to go well, then. I don't think I got them both. Did I get them both? Ah! Oh, oh no. Got him. 
any more? I mean, that was really cheeky. Guns, turrets, stuff like that, which I absolutely loathe. Anything else? Yes, you. You are hidden there, behind there, which is fine by me. Oh, stop pressing the wrong button, Seth. Okay, so there's a lot of fuel. Ah! Oh. Okay, I'm not sure I'm quite ready for all this yet. You know, but the Let's Play's been going on quite a while, so... Could be. Okay, I did not notice that was wide open. So that leaves me wide open to trouble. As that seems to be another place crap can spawn from. Oh no, this is where I came in. This is huge alien rockets as well. These look really cool, but they're so heavy. It's unbelievable. Okay. So yeah, got that. There's generators still to be had. You can sort of... Thank you. Um, access code. Don't have access code. Okay. Maybe I need to figure that out. What about you? Uh, meh. I'll take it. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. This planet sucks. Okay, so that's, I guess, the way you were supposed to come in. I guess. And then that had an access code, so I'm not quite sure how you figure out what the access code was. I mean, these you could... Ow! These apparently you can blow up. And they have a blast radius, so just be aware of that. So, I went up here. There's no code or any indication of a code here. That is where I came in. That goes somewhere. Okay, we got to risk it coming down here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so that's basically a shortcut to the core. Fortunately, the scorpions are bugged. Fortunately for me, at least, the scorpions are bugged. That one's still alive. And that, that's the other one I killed with the automated door. So I guess if I'd gone down here to start off with, I would have been fine. So I've called this facility. So that means on the bright side, I can hopefully take those guns. Um, let's salvage all of this as this is just nice components I mean that I'm less worried about the titanium plate and stuff these T1 generators again I've got so many I got T1 generators coming out my ears so what's down here this seems less than... Oh! This again is a different way in. Now, this is what I want to see if I can get. So if I put a core on here, can I salvage these guns? This is an alien plasma turret. Can I actually properly salvage an alien plasma turret? Oh, yes, I can. Alien Plasma Turret Type 1. Okay. What's its use? Uh, let's shove those in the fridge. So, what is its use, good sir? It can be used on a base, 
MS, again, this seems to indicate it can be used on a CV. 9,000 CPU. And what ammunition does it use? Alien plasma charge. Alien plasma charge. These things. But it got a couple of these. There you go. Um, I'm assuming on drop down simulator there's nothing too advanced worth having. I'm not going to worry about it. I think that is this place done. Um, again, grab these just for the bits and bobs. Not going to worry about that. And then ugh, we'll move on in just a second. Uh, there you drill, aren't you? Which way was the way I was going? Does, does anybody know? Do I even know? Because my ship is down here. But my ship is now going to be pretty much full yet again. If you check this out, look. We're very close to full. Eh. And we're back to go slow version. And we'll end up going back up and having another jolly jaunt. I've been over to a few of these green markers as well. Generally, these green markers just end up turning out to be um, crashed CVs of various sorts. I'm hoping if I go back up to the ship again, drop some of this stuff off, I can come back down near that abandoned fuel station. I have yet to find the ziggurat or any hint of it. Um, I don't know if maybe I'm missing... What the hell is that? Abandoned reactor. Okay. I mean, there's abandoned POIs here absolutely everywhere. That thing has another gun on it and is gonna shoot me. So, abandoned comm center. Like I say, the green things, you, you sort of come over, crash sentinel rear, and they, and they change color. And they turn out to be CVs of various descriptions. I apologize profusely for how dark it is. You do have to remember we're stuck in a black hole. Um... And that one, for example, is again going to shoot me. So we're going to keep moving here away from it. Because that one is going to shoot me. <laughs> Some of these actual CVs shoot at you. So we'll go back up. I'm going to drop this stuff off. Um, I guess I just keep hunting for the ziggurat. It has taken me a long time. But I've been back and forth from this junk storage as it was pretty much under the ship when I next went back to the ship and uh, I have ferried all the flux coils up and we now have like enough flux coils to sink the proverbial battleship or CV as it were um, and now as promised I am going to check out this uh, abandoned fuel depot and see if there's anything worth having here repair tool mechanical components not so ah, again I keep pressing the wrong button why Seth? why um yeah see if there's anything worth grabbing in this place I mean this POI is just full of stuff it has a core I'm not surprised because the th blocks are essentially lit so I would imagine there's something interesting inside there um, now what I could really do with which I didn't think of is more shotgun shells um, as for where the core is who knows I mean there's a lot of boxes here with computers and Sathian plates um, 
And one of the reasons I'm interested in the Sathian plates all of a sudden, and seemed happy about those Sathian plates, is because... Hello? Um, I've been looking at this long-range detector. Now, obviously, we have... I'm hearing spiders. I don't know where they are. I have to do something to find this cigarette, and I think it, I'm going to need the long-range detector. This is going to take me the rest of my life. Um, so assuming I'm not going to get attacked by a spider while I talk about this, long-range detector is 500. If I complete level 7 of the advanced training, which is uh, for which I need meat, that will give me 500 anyway. So I'm going to spend the 500 um, and do it, I think. And then I'll use the long range detector on the ship because it can scan entire sectors and planets at a time. And the SV one to me seems somewhat more useful than a CV one because you can't seem to take a CV down to every planet. So it seems like the SV one will be better. I mean, could be possible that the HV one is better, but who knows? I'll take the bullet casings, I guess, because bullet casings are something I'm always coming up short on. Or generally coming up short on. Okay. Now, what I need to find is a way essentially in to this POI. I'm not too worried about all these boxes. Oh, hello. What I'm really interested in is finding the core. I can hear bad guys. I hear bad guys, I know see bad guys. Okay. The only thing it's leading me to is the place up there. I mean, okay. A solar panel thing. I mean, I can try and get rid of it, obviously, and then I can't destroy it anyway. But solar panels here, I'm assuming, not hugely effective. So, where am I supposed to go? It almost sounds like I'm supposed to go into that block, because this one doesn't have anything. This one doesn't seem to have anything at all. It's like I should be following the sounds of the horrible alien bugs. So we follow the alien bug sounds and... Okay. I can actually destroy those blocks. What is in here? So we have a generator and a fuel tank. That is slightly more disappointing than I expected. So if I've done that, are we offline? No, we're not offline. Of course we're not. Don't be daft. Where? Where is the way in? I mean, these are clearly like armor blocks. Where is the way into this base? Um, I'm looking, I can see like blocks there. I'm like off the base here. And no, I will keep looking. If I find it, I will let you know. Okay, well, all I've got to come to do so far is that and blew my way through by blowing things up. And I found a little annoying, horrible scorpion baby. Um, but that is the only way in I've essentially found. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the way in. Oh my lord. I hate these things. There's going to be bad things here. 
Mets? No. Mets? No. Uh. Okay. Die. Die. Die, 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 die. They took a while to die. Okay. Generators. Uh. Switch. Does that turn them on or off? I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Fuel tank. Okay. Ooh. Loot container. Hello. High powered alien laser charge. And meds. Okay. I'm going to have a quick look at these because I had a horrible feeling they might have pentaxid. Which I don't want to leave behind. Uh, fuel. That's worried about the fuel. Got so much fuel. Do you remember when fuel used to be a problem? I mean, I know I'm doing this POI in the wrong order now. Because I'm just blowing things up with this gun but isn't that what this gun is for okay I've turned it on I'm not sure if turning it on is a good plan oh look this is where you where I'm supposed to go in this was supposed to be the entrance I couldn't see it for all the light so I'm guessing that's where I was supposed to come in I was supposed to turn that on and come down through here which is where I came through meet the bad guys there and then meet probably more bad guys somewhere I don't like the sounds okay so there's a little baby scorpion down there and here has loot Okay, I will take your loot. Excellent. And we will run through here. And, uh... Times when I would like a flamethrower, please. Ah, so fast! So fast! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! God, I hate those things. Get rid of the spawner too. And how many are we talking about? Just one? Ow! I was stunned briefly. Okay. Uh, that looks like a spawner too. I'll get rid of that one. I love this gun. I see you, abomination, hiding behind a little... Hiding. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, cheeky little so and so. I almost fell for that trap. Nothing has meat. Wait. Uh, blah, blah. Okay. And that's the core. Okay, so not a massive POI, but a higher grade loot container with a detox kit. With a T2 drill for once, an assault shotgun, and a flamethrower. Not super loot. Not amazing. But not terrible either. The only thing that's worth checking here is if I did put this on, is there any... No, you see under core there's nothing exciting. There's NPC spawners, there's a ton of fuel tanks, which I'm guessing have a ton of fuel as it is an abandoned fuel depot but not as much fuel as you might think generator lights claim for solar panels solar generators nothing hugely crazily exciting okay the only thing I guess that these are worth is quite a bit in terms of actual salvage raw materials wise they're worth a reasonable amount 
I dropped some steel plate. Is that because I'm full or is that because for some reason I am looting into my own personal inventory? Which is the latter, of course. There you go. Done. So. Nothing else particularly worth grabbing other than just generally general bits and bobs shooting the alien block just in case there's some sort of you know loot container behind it or something hidden that's the kind of thing POI makers do isn't it because they're sneaky gits but with that I think this one is done and from here, I think I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe as always, and join us again next time when I think I'm going to make the long range scanner and we will find that ziggurat. Thanks a lot.